everyone so I know I am by myself today just because actually off at school and so I felt this was the great opportunity for me to film a first impressions video so today I will be trying out the new covergirl clean whipped cream foundation I've only recently seen this out and I've been putting it off because I haven't had much experience with whipped cream foundation so I decided to just give it a whirl and I am in the shade 310. Honestly, I haven't heard much about this product, to be honest. I think I saw Dulce Candy post a picture on, I think, Instagram saying that she really liked it. So I figured I'd give it a shot and that way you guys can kind of experience this product with me. Um, so we can kind of get the experience together, which would be great. Um, so the packaging just looks like this. It's fairly simple. It's fairly small too, which is awesome if you're traveling. Um, it just has a glass bottle and a white cap with the logo on top and it's a twist top and this is what it looks like once it once you open it. Pretty good consistency. It's not going to spill out, which is awesome too. And again, like I said, it's probably great for traveling because it won't take up a lot of space in your makeup bag. I honestly don't know if it's out in most drugstores. I've only seen it at Walmart as of right now um, and it was around like I think like $6.94 or like $7 so somewhere around there so the price is pretty great so I guess we will give this a shot and again you'll see me update you guys on how I feel the product is going regardless if I need to powder or if it's not good and so I guess we'll just jump into the first impressions then let's go all right so today i will be trying the covergirl clean whipped cream foundation and i am in the shade 310 so this really recently came out i've only seen it at my local like walmart i haven't seen it anywhere else i'm assuming it's kind of like the revlon one so i really wanted to give it a try because i've never really tried a whipped cream foundation so i figured i'd give it a go again i'm in the shade 310 it's kind of pale but Oh good. So it looks like this. It comes in this little pot and it just looks like this and I guess we'll just get started. So right now it is 3 oh 1003 3 1003 and um yeah, I'm getting kind of a late start today, but anyways, let's get started. So I guess I'll just do this with my fingers. I don't really know how other people apply whipped cream foundation. I don't know because it doesn't really have like an applicator so I've already done all my base work like my moisturizer and whatnot so we'll just get started on this bad boy no oh, how are you supposed to do this okay so first off I can tell it's really light um like texture wise it's really smooth it's really um blendable so I'm thinking a little bit goes a long way. So I'm kind of glad I started out with like my fingers. Color is a little bit lighter than I had hoped it would be. So I'm 310 and there's, the next one is 320. I just wish there was like a 315 because I'm assuming 315 is like my perfect shade. Yeah, again, it's really light. It's more of a light to medium coverage. So not too big on the coverage, but it does cover up any um blots that you might have but thus far i am really loving it it's really light i really don't feel like i have any foundation on my face at all whatsoever it's more of a like tinted moisturizer consistency so it's a lot lighter but it still gives you the coverage that you need so yeah i am really really loving this right now and i guess the whole point of having um cream whipped cream foundation is so that it is light and you just don't feel like you're caking everything on which is great because with the summer months it's a lot hotter so I tend to gravitate towards lighter makeup it's just nice to not have to worry about like my makeup sweating off or anything up along those lines and one thing great about this I feel like because it is a whipped cream foundation it's really fast. I feel like I applied this on in like two seconds, which is awesome for one of those lazy days, which tends to happen to me very often. All right, so thus far I only have the foundation on and I am seriously loving this. It's so light. I don't feel like anything's on my face and it's not sticky. Like I think it would be fine if you didn't want to press a powder um, over this, but I tend to have really oily skin. So I Myself personally would use a powder over it, but I think it's totally up to you. It's not greasy to the point where you're just like 
you shiny and so this is actually really awesome and I don't think the color is that off it's a little bit lighter than what I would normally gravitate towards but it's still fine like you don't see any foundation lines which is awesome and again it is super duper light so I am seriously loving this and it just makes you have like a flawless look to your face like it kind of does cover up your pores or any blemish spots or acne scars that you might have and so it's again it's not like it's not covering up everything but it's not something that a little concealer can't fix because it's just little like darker spots that I might have from old acne scars or my darker eye under circles so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of my makeup on and then I will update you guys on throughout my day okay so now my makeup is all done and um i will be having a long day today which is why i felt this was a great opportunity to try this out you get to see the lasting power and how it kind of reacts to like going in and out of the sun and you know whatever situation may come upon and so i guess i will update you guys throughout the day and we'll see how it goes bye Hi everyone, so right now I'm doing update number one. Um, I've already been out and about today, kind of, sort of. Um, I wish I can tell you what time it is right now, but I don't really have my phone. I think it says it's about like 1.10. Okay, so as you can see, I am a bit shiny, but otherwise, um, not that bad. I haven't blotted all day, so it's actually not too bad for as for shine. I mean, it's pretty noticeable on my t-zone honestly I absolutely love this foundation it's so light and I'm actually glad I got a lighter shade because um with me and my skin a lot of foundations really oxidize a lot darker so um I tend to kind of gravitate towards lighter shades because I know um by the end of the day I am gonna be darker so I'm kind of glad that I did go the lighter route um so but anyways now I'm a little bit shiny but not too bad I can definitely just blot it up not Simple quick fixes, you know, will do the trick. Hi everyone! So now we have come to the end of the day. It is now... I don't know why I never have my phone with me when I'm doing updates here, but I want to say it's around like 9.45ish, almost 10. So I've been wearing this makeup for about 12 hours now. And I know I only did one update this time because I was just jam-packed with stuff to do. Um, I recently... Got back from my family barbecue my family is in town from taiwan so we were just there visiting them and so um this makeup is pretty awesome because it's still like on my face intact and fine granted again I, I am oily but it's i don't think honestly it's to the point where it looks really greasy it definitely has that like sheen to your face but it's not by any means like oh my god what is wrong with your face so I am really loving this and it's still really light I had blot um, after my first update um, I did blot and then while I was at the barbecue all in all it was great I am loving this foundation um, I really hope that you guys give it a try because um, from what I can tell it's actually a really really great product I'm shocked that I didn't try it sooner because so now I guess we'll do the overall wrap up. For foundation, you kind of want to judge by the coverage and you know packaging and whatnot. So I would say this is a light to medium coverage. I definitely think it's buildable, but because it is kind of like a matte, flawless finish, I think if you were to put too much on, it might end up being cakey. So I would kind of avoid doing that. Otherwise, it is a great product. It's very blendable and it a little bit goes a long way. So honestly, I would start out with a little bit and then kind of work your way throughout your face. The packaging I think is great. It's super small so it's really compact in this space here. It is great for traveling since it is so small it's not going to take up a lot of space. The lid is easy to turn off and the consistency is very thick. Again it's a whipped cream foundation so you don't have to worry about spillage or anything like that. I really would grade this product like like at least an A because it's pretty awesome out there. Packaging is simple which is what I like and it's small and I mean it's not like super heavy and the foundation itself isn't super heavy and it gives you like this matte-ish finish so it's not completely matte but it's not like um, dewy either 
it's kind of like this great in between and i think that if you don't have oily skin which i do i think you can just use it straight out of the can you don't really need um powder to finish it off or set it but for me i have oily skin i would definitely recommend people with oily skin to finish off or set it off with a powder but otherwise i think this is a great product i hope you guys like this first impressions and i hope you do give this product a try i just have lots of hope for this i hope it doesn't bring me out because i really really like it again i am in the shade 310 if you're wondering and tell me if you guys want to see any other first impressions product i actually love doing first impressions because i feel like it's a way for all of us to experience one product together and yeah i guess i will see you guys in our next video bye